hello guys good morning so today i'm going to show you how to make a risky nigerian pancake and waffle at the same time so i call it risky because the light might go off at any time but i'm taking that risk. so here i have my waffle maker if you look at this you're going to find that it has the waffle maker here and the toast here so i want it to come out in two different forms of course this is my butter a little bit hot water pig meal baking powder sugar banana flavor for test egg my russell herb toner flour and an empty bowl so i'm just going to show you how all this comes together in flat minutes here yeah. so now here is my flour in my bowl i'm going to add sugar i like it very sweet so i'm going to take two spoons of sugar then i'm going to add um so in my hand i have a pinch of salt to test um i'm going to add my flavor i want it to have a banana kind of test you could do the with real bananas too but i don't have real banana and measurement is inshallah so my flavor to make sure i get that banana bang out of it because banana is my favorite mm. okay next is my baking powder so now i'm going to add my pig meal sometimes i prefer um liquid meal but unfortunately i don't have any in the house and now i like it really creamy so i'm going to add a generous amount of pig meal yeah you could do with less milk or no milk but i like my creamy so i'm going to get the best out of it then my egg goes in so now everything has gone in remember what i have here is sugar milk my flavor you could also use vanilla children actually like vanilla a lot you could play with flavors this is my baking powder. This is my egg. And a pinch of salt. Don't add too much. All this in one bowl. We are now going to whisk it together and get the final outcome. Um, if you do not have um whisker, you could also use your hand and turn it. You can see I added a lot of water to get the consistency I want. So now in a matter of minutes, I will pack now our butter is ready our butter is ready to go so we're just going to put it inside the maker now okay now i'm ready to pour this into the butter but first of all i like to oil the grill machine to make sure it does not stick this is important if you have your brush in the kitchen just oil it to make sure it does not stick at any point so i always try to put in enough of this now i'm going to pour in my butter just enough to fill in the gap so you do not want it spilling over so just once you get that feel you stop now this is ready to go i'm going to turn this on and cover and hope to get a good result out of this so you could leave this for as long as possible come back and meet it cooked so if you want it really brown you get that texture if you don't want it really brown it's going to stay as neat as possible so come check on this in another five minutes so guys our waffle is ready you can see look at how beautiful this one turned out so look at the beauty thing about this um this is looking like waffle right then check the back it's looking like toast so that's the thing about it look at this so we have the last one in the fire i wanted this to brown very well so you see how it is it's always advised to turn off the light first so it don't get a shot look at this this was incomplete because the butter finished but this was full so i'm going to remove this to warm me but ew. wow so are you seeing how this turned out the front looks like waffle while the back looks like your toast and that's how to make your toast waffle with fresh ingredients bye
now my toast waffle is ready if you look at this side it looks like toast this side it looks like waffle and i'm having that with my mixed fruit jam so this is how it turns out